Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today we'll be going through another shave uh, with some cool products that I have. Let me feature the razor first. This is the Gillette Bolland Tech. A bit on the small handle, but it's the gold plating. Uh, the plating is kind of wearing out as it is a old thing, a 40s or 50s razor. Using this with a Gillette <coughs> Wilkinson Sword um, Saloon Pack. This is on its uh, 12th use, so quite a quite the adventure with this blade. <laughs> yeah, so today's probably gonna be my last day of using this blade, as I, it was a slightly rough yesterday, but it still gave me a pretty good shave. So I'll be trying that again. Now for the soap. This is the What The Puck uh, Blue. It's a shaving soap. This is from uh, Italian Barber. Um, it's a hard puck soap. So I probably use this maybe um, six, seven times, but still looks the same. <laughs> so hard puck soaps uh, last um, a lot longer. This is triple milled, and I believe it's uh, imported from Italy from somewhere. One of the artisans there. But yeah, that said, it smells uh, powdery, barbershoppy. Um, it's a little too strong for me at first, but now it's uh, it's growing on me. <laughs> As for the brush, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush that I have. <clears throat> Shake off some of the water. This is the Omega RMB razor and blade, um, the Brotherhood of Shaving. Uh, limited edition brush. Uh, it's got a quite a soft bristles and tips. I believe this is uh, one of the bleach <coughs> boar bristles that Omega has. And this is the Italian flag uh, handle. It's a solid resin, so it's quite heavy, but uh, it's beautiful. I like it. Um, yeah, it's an overall great brush. Uh, it's pretty floppy though, so people who does, doesn't like back foam will not like this brush. But um, to combat that, I only uh, soaked it maybe halfway to the bristle so that the rest of the bristle um, has some uh, support in back foam during the shave. Alright, so that said, let me wet my face and begin my shave. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna wet my brush again really quick. This is a bit dripping. I'm gonna shake off most of the water. Alright, that looks good. Here we go, on to the puck. Now, I uh, hope you guys are having a, some great shades, great day. Um, I have some mail call on the way, a um, couple pips that I won, so I'll be excited to open those. And actually one of them uh, is quite the heavy pith. Um, I think it has like maybe six, seven or eight razors, uh, shavettes, gem style razors, D razors, and like four or five soaps. Some aftershaves and just pretty crazy stuff all in one like a mystery package so it'll, it'll be exciting to open that but um, following that I'll probably be um, piffing on most of that stuff as I probably will not enjoy shavettes and other razors that much and I already have a pretty good selection of razors so I'll just be trying it out just for the sake of it and then maybe passing it on to someone who might need it more. <laughs> now look at this. This is kind of... Look at that. <laughs> Lava. That's kind of weird. Now it's pretty um, filled in. So let me go with this. Let me clean off the tub. <clears throat> Onto my face. Now this... Um, this soap here is not very 
uh, natural. For me, um, this is more of a we mass produced soap, kind of like Paraso Arco. Maybe it maybe it performs a bit better than those, but. I believe, I believe this soap can last a lot longer on the shelf oh, rather than the artisan soap. But at the same time, it doesn't give the same performance. Although it is nice, um, just not the same. <clears throat> but it does its job. The value is very, very good. I believe I got this for maybe three or four bucks. So yeah. Can't beat that. <clears throat> if you are a frugal shaver, this might be one of the good soaps to have in your den. All right, using this as a pre-shave, let that soak my stubble. I'm working with a 24-hour growth, so not much to work with, but still something. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go on to the brush now. Kind of loaded a wee, <laughs> a bit too flowery for me, but here we go. Let's uh, it's a bit foamy on the ends, but it should be fine. And this board brush definitely uh, eats a eats up a lot of lava, so gotta be careful for that. Hopefully, I don't need to load again. But here we go. <clears throat> mhm. Mm Yeah, so this has very little backbone. It's very soft. As you can see, it plays out very easily. No no pressure at all. It plays up better than synthetic. Definitely pasty, so I have to add a bit more water. Just work it, work this in first. Especially this doubles on the neck and chin. Yeah, this gets really pasty, so I'm gonna have to add a bit more water.
Hmm. Hmm. One more time for water. Mm-hmm. Now that looks good. Although adding this much water will not be good for the subsequent passes. I think the first pass at least looks very creamy and slick this is the amount of lava that I have left I think it'll be, it'll be good for second pass maybe third but who knows all right first pass through with the grain with Gillette Tech Wilkinson sword saloon pack is 12 views uh, Yeah, compared to the injector blade that I was using, with the Lady Ebersharp Chic. Lady Ebersharp, man, this is much milder. Uh, I really enjoy mild blades or mild uh, razors. This is a very comfortable shave. There's a side of me that <clears throat> doesn't enjoy the tech as much as other razors. It doesn't have the same amount of feedback, the blade feedback. Even though you can hear it, it's a bit muted. However, um, coming back to it, I do enjoy it. So it just might be one of my above the average razors, but not my top one. <clears throat> All right. All right, that was the first pass. It was an excellent, oh crap. I almost banged up the razor against the sink. It's an excellent first pass. What the? My lather is flying everywhere for some reason. Right, let me rinse up and go for a second. All right, that feels good. Why is my lather flying? Like, literally like dust particles. All right, let's go for a second pass with this Omega RMB board with the what the puck soap. What the puck? Here we go. It should be plenty to work with. <clears throat> yep. I was a bit worried that it's gonna eat up all the lather, but 
Seems like it's plenty. And I put a lot of water to moisturize the mouth. But it seems like this is holding up pretty well. This should be enough for a for a third uh, cleanup pass as well. We rinse off the handle really quick. All right. I do have a slight tingling sensation. Uh, might be something in the soap, but it really doesn't go too far for me. <clears throat> but here we go. Let's go for a second pass uh, across the grid. Ooh. It almost feels like there is no blade at all, but you still hear the cutting feedback. Very nice. All right, now I also have some couple of brushes on the way. Actually, a couple of uh, handles and brushes. I really need to slow down. My purchases, but... But I get interested in a handle or a brush and I ask, ask about it and I feel like once the vendor responds in a very polite, detailed way I feel like it's a courtesy to follow through with the purchase and actually buy it. <laughs> so a lot of the times I get pressured in and I, get, I buy the brush. Sometimes I'm not um, kind of regret my purchase, but so far most of my purchases have been um, yeah very good. I, I like the product and I enjoy using it. But uh, let's go for a cleanup. We'll rinse this stuff. But one artisan brush maker that I started working with, or <clears throat> that made uh, my first brush with him, is Rudy Vey. Go for a clean up with this. He's a well known brush artisan uh, in the Badger and Blade market, a forum, I should say. And, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure working with him. I'll be getting one of his brush handles in the near future. So I'm excited to show that to the channel, but I don't have a knot to go with it. So I'm thinking of ordering a knot from Maggard and putting that on. But uh, that will be on in the future. So. Perhaps you guys will see it um, towards the end of the year, maybe October, November, but all right, let's go for a cleanup. Still good enough lather, a little bit thin, but still it will work. Cross the grain, clean up. I'm going to be careful here as I believe this is my third day of daily shaving. 
I try not to shave daily. I try to shave every other day, but sometimes I enjoy shaving, so. I do it more often. All right, through here. Alright, now even though I enjoy this soap, it really dries up my skin by the end of the shave. So there's that post shave part that I do not enjoy as much. And being a mass produced product, uh, these ten, uh, tend to share that quality. At the end of the shave, My skin feels dry and it feels like I have alum in my skin. It's not as bad as Derby, Dabby, or Arco, but it is it's still, yeah, it is drying up my skin. So I definitely need some aftershave balm. Probably be going with Thayer's Witch Hazel and some uh, Trader Joe's aloe vera gel, but that said, uh, that's an excellent shave. I still have some tips of the stubble left, especially with a mild razor, mild blade, like this. This is gonna happen, but overall, very enjoyable shave. Um, enjoy the soap, the What The Puck, Barbershop, or Blue, and with the Omega RMB. Now, this basically has no more lava left, but it gave me two and a half passes of lava, so I'll be happy with that. And yeah, that will be the end of the shave for today. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!